Normal programming has been suspended. This is BBC Television from London. Diana, Princess of Wales, has died after a car crash in Paris. The French government announced her death just before five o'clock this morning. Buckingham Palace confirmed the news shortly afterwards. Normal programs have been suspended while we bring you the latest developments throughout the morning. The People's Princess, taken far too soon from a life that was far from easy. Princess Diana was known for her numerous good works and charity, but with this philanthropic royal lifestyle came overwhelming pressures that the Princess of Wales struggled to come to terms with, especially under the watchful eye of media and the general public. This watchful eye carries on to the modern day as the hit show The Crown is set to cover the tragic events of her death in 1997. Portraying such a poignant event is no easy task, and The Crown has seen its fair share of controversy by dramatising the best and worst times of the royal family. I'm sure the sixth and final season will be no exception. In October 2022, the cast and crew of The Crown filmed the scenes depicting Princess Diana and Dodie Fayed's death, which occurred on the 31st of August 97. Peter Morgan, creator of the show, has confirmed that the actual accident itself will not be shown on screen. According to a source on the production team, we will be seeing the car leaving the Ritz after midnight, with paparazzi in pursuit. The aftermath with the British ambassador to France swinging into action with the Foreign Office, and then the subsequent constitutional aftermath. The source added, quote, We've been dreading getting to this point. While we're calmly carrying on, it's fair to acknowledge that there's a certain anxiety, a palpable sense of being slightly on edge. I mean, there's bombshell sensitivity surrounding this one, end quote. Photos have since been revealed showing Debicki as Princess Diana in Diana's animal print swimsuit, which Diana was seen wearing whilst holidaying in the Mediterranean weeks before her death. Obviously these few weeks being a key time period in the sixth season. Season 5 ended its events in 1997 and Season 6 should pick up right where it left off, and expected to continue through to 2003. It is assumed the accident will occur in the opening few episodes, and then the focus will shift to the funeral and the aftermath resulting from the tragedy. The reaction of Buckingham Palace to the tragedy was a target for criticism as their statements came across cold and impersonal. They've even made movies on this very subject. This film also having the crash occur off screen. When it comes to real life tragedies, having them occur off camera is definitely the way to handle it. It's already ethically questionable portraying such a dark historical event in a TV show drama, but fantasising the accident itself on the small screen is objectively insensitive and should probably be avoided. The dramatic advantage to this tactic will be that when the crash occurs, we'll be seeing nothing but reactions from the on-screen royals and the public, a very impactful storytelling mechanic. When we see these events from the eyes of the characters we have come to be so familiar with, the impact and shock of this event will evoke a more emotional reaction from the audience, especially those that were there to recall this day in 1997. Past the accident, we know we'll also be seeing into the early 2000s. The 90s and early 2000s were filled with difficult times for many of the members of the royal family. There of course was their Annus Horribilis, but that's not where the dark years ended, and the royals experienced the loss of many of their family members during this time. This I've covered in my other videos on Season 6. The final season of The Crown will have Elizabeth Debicki's Diana alongside Imelda Staunton's Queen Elizabeth II, Leslie Manville's Princess Margaret, and Jonathan Price's Prince Philip, all returning after their first appearance in Season 5. These cast members alongside Olivia Williams, Camilla Parker Bowles, Bertie Carvel and Lydia Leonard as Tony and Claire Blair, Khalid Abdullah as Dodi Fayed, and Salim Dor as Mohammed Al Fayed. A release date has yet to be announced, but Netflix's chief content officer has confirmed the sixth season will be arriving in autumn 2023. If you want to know more about the life and death of Princess Diana, I've made a tribute video which I'll link on screen now if you want to check that out. I'd love to hear what you think of Diana's portrayal in The Crown so far, so let me know, I'll be down there in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things The Crown. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.